Hello and welcome to this English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at the words or vocabulary we need to talk about getting a job. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said, today's lesson is looking at the words or vocabulary we need for getting a job. Now, a lot of you will be going to live in the UK or Australia or the States or Canada, and perhaps you're going to have to uh, try to get a job. And if that is the case, a lot of this vocabulary is going to come in handy for you. Now, the first thing we're going to do in order to get a job is we're going to look for an advertisement which is going to show the different types of jobs that are available or the jobs that are in the market at the moment, the job advertisement. Now, traditionally, these job advertisements were in newspapers, but nowadays it's more common to see job ads or job advertisements online, okay? A lot of the job uh, applications now are done online. So it's, more, it's most likely that we'll see the advertisement nowadays uh, somewhere online, okay? Now, the advertisement is normally advertising a job vacancy in the sense that a company is looking for someone to fill a vacant position, a vacancy, okay? And we are going to apply for that job. And in order to apply for the job, we need to fill in an application form. Now, the application form is where we put our name, our date of birth, where we're from, where we live. Uh, we put down other information that they ask us in that application form, maybe our experience, maybe our skills, all of these things. We will also need to have a CV, curriculum vitae, or a resume uh, up to date. We will need to have all of the information relevant and up to date in order to send the CV or resume with our application form, okay? And the CV or the resume uh, also tells the person about our experience, a little bit about who we are, some of our hobbies, some of our likes, and some of our skills, which I'll come to in a minute. Um, nowadays, it's also common still to write a cover letter, okay, a cover letter, and the cover letter can accompany these things here. The cover letter is uh, a letter that you write expressing maybe why you want to work in that company or why you want that job, and you would also list your uh, your experience, things you've done, uh, and, uh, and, and other things uh, like that in the cover letter, okay? Uh, if we're lucky enough to get to the next stage, we will probably have a job interview where we will physically go to the company in question and they will ask us questions in person about why we want the job and other small details about that particular uh, job, okay? We could also go to a recruitment agency. A recruitment agency is a professional organization that has many, 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 many different jobs that they are looking to fill. Perhaps big companies don't advertise directly. They might advertise through a recruitment agency because the recruitment agency will get the specific person for the job um, without with less problems for the company. Now, if we get to the interview stage, they, they will probably ask us about our skills. The skills are the things that we can do. So for example, if uh, you are applying for an office job, you will probably need to know how to use a computer. So that could be a skill. Maybe you speak foreign languages. Maybe you speak French or Spanish as well as English. That can also be a skill. They will ask you about previous experience, other jobs that you have had similar to the one that you are applying for. So perhaps you're applying to work for Pizza Hut to make pizzas. 
and they will ask you if you have had experience making pizzas before. They will also ask for qualifications, maybe your uh, university degree, maybe some other type of professional qualification that you have. Maybe you have a master's in pizza making, so that would be a qualification. All right. Uh, they could also ask you for references. References are people that can uh, recommend you based on the experience that they uh, know about you. Perhaps you work for them. Perhaps they are family friends. Perhaps it is a, a character reference as well. Um, and you might also uh, want to ask about the conditions or they will tell you about the conditions the hours that you will work, the uh, holiday periods that you are entitled to, etc, etc. You will also need to talk about salary or wages. Salary is normally the annual or monthly amount of money that you are paid. Wages can be for less formal types of jobs. Okay, wages. We can also ask about perks or benefits. Perks is an informal word, but it means the same as benefits, okay? The extras that perhaps are included in your salary. So maybe you have a pension scheme, maybe you have a medical insurance, maybe you have a company car, maybe you have a free lunch every day. These could all be considered as perks or benefits. Now, if we get the job, uh, again, we will want to know if it is a, a part-time job, a full-time job, or perhaps it's a casual job, okay? Maybe that you're only going to do for two or three months, a casual job. Maybe it's part-time that you're only going to work on weekends or in the afternoons if you're delivering your pizzas or making your pizzas. Or perhaps it's a full-time job where you're going to spend all of your working week, normally 40 or so hours in a full-time job is what you will be required to work. Thank you very much for watching the lesson. Remember that if you have a question or a comment, please leave it below in the comment section. Remember to share the video on social media, your Facebook, your Google+, your Twitter, your Pinterest, whatever social media you're using. Try to share the video, share it up. I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a good day. Bye.